What do you do when a judge doesn't know that she's dealing with a sovereign citizen? Well, you just sit back and enjoy the show. We got a sovereign citizen coming in with a script where he gets to ask the judge over and over again for clarifications. It doesn't end well for him. Well, we don't actually get to see the end end, but boy, it's a lot of fun getting there. Thank you everybody for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer, your host. If you like my content, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also check out my other channel, Joe the Lawyer. It is in the description below. Go ahead, click on it, subscribe, watch some videos. I cover news over there in a legal way with some legal analysis. Now, before we watch, the real reason most of you came is for the same time sip. Today, I went shopping at uh, an organic food uh, store, I guess you would call it. It's called Fresh Time, and I got this drink here. It's called um, Diet Hansen's. So, let's see how this is. You're probably drinking something you're more familiar with. Um, perhaps a beer, perhaps some tequila. Uh, perhaps some vodka. I don't have my Diet Coke. Okay, well, all right. Smells okay. Cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together. Not too bad. Not my Diet Coke, but I'll take it. All right, let's watch this video. Okay. An interest up here of everything, Mr. Brown. Uh, honestly, I have no, no clue. It was, it was a, it was in a work truck, so, uh, Here's what I'll let you do if you want to. I'll let you have a basic rule, no points. Won't go on your record, just pay the fine and go home. Uh, I've, I've got, I've actually got a couple points of clarification for the judge. Uh, you can have a trial for those. Would you like a jury trial or bench trial? I'm, I mean, I have every intention on pleading guilty today. It's just, uh, I need, I've got to couple points of clarification for the judge. Well, here's, well, here's my deal. Okay, you could do that. All right, you go over and plead guilty to the basic rules over in courtroom three. All right. Uh, you want to buy a chair? Grab a chair, take it with you. Um, uh, I've, got, I've got a couple unsigned pleas of guilty right here. Okay, but they're going to require that. So go ahead and take it. You need to take it, read it, go to college, please, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. They gave me one over there. I've also got uh, a couple unsigned pleas of guilty uh, with me, too. So, why don't we do this? Why don't you, have, why don't you take the waiver and a pen, read mm -hmm. it and sign it unless you've already done so? Oh, uh, I mean, I have every intention on pleading good today. I just have a couple uh, clarifications I need for okay, so one moment. Everybody has to have a waiver of rights for it. Todos tienen que tener una hoja de renuncia de derechos. Are we getting us to have one? Yes? If you don't have one, my clerk has to. Don't come up here without signing, reading it, and signing. Okay. All right. Go ahead, sir. I'm all yours. Okay. Um, do I have the right to a fair and, fair and meaningful hearing here today? So, sir, you today is your arraignment, and you have been charged with the offense of following too closely. That's it. Um, it's my understanding you spoke to the prosecutor, and the prosecutor has agreed to reduce your charge to basic rules violation for a fine. Are you willing to accept that today or not? Like I like I just said, I have every intention on doing that. I just had a couple of clarifications. Uh, the first one being, do I have the right to a fair and meaningful hearing here today? Of course. I mean, I this is a court of law. Of course, I have to treat everybody equally. But the question to you is, if you're not going to take a plea, then I have to reset you to another date if you want to try. 
Um, so those are your two options. Well, like I like I just said, I have every intention on pleading guilty. Okay. Uh, so that was that was a yes. I do have the right to a fair and meaningful hearing here today. Of course, everybody does. All right. Um, do I have the right to be informed of the cause and nature of the charges and proceedings against me? I'm sorry. Do I have the right to be informed of the cause and nature of the charges? I and just did that, sir. It's an arraignment. So, uh, just telling me what the charges are and what the prosecutor uh, may, wants to, wants to make a deal with me—that that's informing me of the cause and nature. Yes, sir. Uh, I still have a couple more clarifications. Okay, why don't you sit down, sir? Have a seat, and then I'll take you up in just a few moments, okay? And you just said that I had a right to a fair and meaningful hearing. How is this meaningful if it's gonna, if you're telling me to sit back down? I need you to sit back down, sir, please, and I'll be with you in just a few seconds. of the charges and proceedings against me. I'm not yet fully informed. I did and, that, sir. I had your lead. I said, sir, you're charged with the following too closely. Um, you and the prosecutor have talked. He's agreed to amend that charge to basic rules violation with a $215 fine. I have no further duties to you other than I, to tell you what you're charged with, sir. At this point, I'm going to ask you one last time. Sir, am I taking a plea or are we having a trial? I still have some clarifications. I don't have, I do not have to answer any of your questions, nor do you have to make a query on how I do my job. So, sir, one last time. Am I taking a plea, or do you want a trial? Um, um, objection, point of clarification. Okay. Right. Are we setting your case for a trial? I'll wait until one second, Your Honor. Pardon? Can I speak with him? Of course, go ahead. Mr. Henry is an attorney, and he's very well armed. I told them I had every intention on putting guilty here today, paying my fine and leaving with my freedoms. I had a couple points of clarification that she agreed to to clarify for me, and now she's going she, back on it. What it is is, as a judge, she's kind of like referee in court, so like yeah, yeah. Impartial. But I, but I can clarify the things for you. Um, uh, I don't just think, by virtue. Are you the prosecutor? No, no, I'm a defense attorney. Uh, like, I'm I, a I have no, I have no use for a well, defense attorney. But a, a prosecutor isn't permitted to give legal advice to a defendant. A judge isn't supposed to. Give I'm not. Advice. I'm not seeking legal advice. Okay. Right, that's, I was just trying to. Okay. Are you here for probation revocation? Yeah. Okay. Are you here for probation? No, I'm here at the court date. Have you been over to courtroom one? Yes, ma'am, for one, for one, two, over here. and then they sent me here. Have a seat, sir, and then we'll go ahead and find your people. Sorry for the delay. No problem, ma'am, this one. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Jones, you've got the opportunity to speak to Mr. Henry. Mr. Henry is a criminal defense attorney and known him for many years. He's uh, I admire him as an attorney. After talking to him, do you have any further clarification? Can we move on with these proceedings or no? I do have further clarifications. Okay. Sir, there, there, it's just a couple. It, it, it should only take two or three minutes, and then I sign, sign the paper and then pay my fine and leave my freedoms. I, you'll have to understand that I cannot give you any legal advice. I'm not asking for advice, ma'am. You are. I'm not. You are. Okay. 
I'm going to reset your case for a bench trial, sir. Um, and you need to probably get some legal advice. Ma'am, you, you, you said that I had, you, you admitted that I had the right to a fair and meaningful hearing. How is it meaningful if I just have to, I'm, I'm here under duress. I'm not here voluntarily. How is it that you're here under duress, sir? Because if, if I didn't come, then people with guns would come to my house or I would get, I would get taken into custody driving down the road. I'm here completely under duress. Okay, well, that's why you're going to get a bench trial, sir, because I'm not going to answer any questions that require me to give you legal advice. Ma'am, I'm not seeking advice at all. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of points of clarification I need cleared up so before I'm able to enter a plea. And, again, and, and it's not it's not advice. Like I, like I stated before, I'm, I'm very aware of the difference between advice and clarifications. was this a good one so uh i checked out this guy's channel i took this video from van bayon i guess he's using the uh what what is called the mark stevens script when he's asking for clarification so uh we see this gentleman walk into a socially distanced courtroom and as you all know i'm an attorney and i've been going into these courtrooms and they got the chairs all over the place and people in the hallways i did a jury trial where they had the jury spread out throughout the entire courtroom anyways um this guy walks in he talks to the prosecutor right away the prosecutor gives him a deal of a century no points pay a fine and go home a deal of the century so oh, okay okay well, but uh, he has these points of contention, points of contention. Sorry, I said clarification, points of contention. So um, they send him over to the judge after he tells the prosecutor uh, points of contention. Now, here's here's the little mind game that he's playing is, oh, I have every intention of pleading guilty today as soon as you hear my points of contention. Uh, so, so he doesn't want to lose the deal. He doesn't want to lose the deal, but he still wants to play his game. He still wants to play the little game. I mean, I, I don't think judges should tolerate this crap, okay? Uh, we don't know what happened here. So uh, he comes in and he tells the judge he's got some points of contention for her. because uh, Because it sounds like, to me, he's here to teach her the law. Listen, Your Honor, did you know, did you know I went and I got a YouTube law degree? So that's kind of what's going on here. Um, what a nice lady this is, the judge. Uh, very cheerful and joyful. Um, even when she got mad, uh, she didn't sound that mad. <laughs> um, so it, it's it's a refreshing uh, change of pace for a judge because I think most judges are like try to be like thunder and lightning, which is really probably a good thing. So. Um, he doesn't want to, he's giving, she's telling him he's got to do this waiver of rights form, and uh, he keeps going on, on and on, all right? Uh, she doesn't know what she's in for. She obviously, at, at least it seemed to me, didn't realize, um, maybe one day, uh, you know, I don't know if I'll ever be a judge, but if I ever am, boy, if a sovereign citizen comes into my courtroom, we're going to go at it. We're going <laughs> to, I'm going to have some fun. So, um... He asked her, do I have the right to a fair and meaningful hearing? What's the question, what's the answer they're expecting to get here? And again, he's, I have every intention of pleading guilty. He doesn't want to lose the deal. Um, then he goes on to cause the cause in nature. What She answered him. She said, I told you what the charge is against you. What do they want? A reading of the Constitution? A reading of the Constitution? Um, here's the thing. With, with, with a misdemeanor or felony case, there's going to be a, a full narrative, you know, on a traffic offense the, the the police generally only write a couple of lines. And then if you have a hearing, they're going to testify and fill in all the blanks. But, um, but on a, a traffic case, it's just, you know, you don't get, you don't get a full affidavit. You just don't. Okay. 
Um, but I would tell him, I would give him a little bit of a de more detailed answer. I think he was, oh, you're accused of uh, following too closely. That's illegal under uh, the traffic code, Title 2897. Um, following too closely is defined as driving within 10 to 15, you know, five to, t five to 10 feet of a vehicle for, for more than five to 10 minutes or longer than a mile, a mile and a half. The reason this law is in place is to uh, take care of the safety. You know, I, I, I would humor him. I'd humor him a little bit. This lady doesn't know what she's dealing with. Very nice judge. Probably a very, very good judge. So um, <laughs> as someone quoted before, she puts him in timeout, okay, to deal with other um, defendants because she knows this guy's going to be a long time. Now, that's a good way to sort of deter the, the goofy people, right? You're going to deter him. Put him over in timeout. He, oh, he's going to get tired and give in eventually. Um, we get a little glimpse of his green, his green notes. He's got a little green piece of paper and some scribble notes, four or five lines that he's told um, by a sovereign citizen to repeat over and over again to get a magic result. Okay. Um, he keeps telling her, I'm not yet fully informed. I'm not, Sir, you're as informed as, informed as you're going to be. It's a traffic ticket and you're being offered no points. Pay the fine. Go home. She starts to get stern. He keeps asking for clarifications. Then he objects to her. Then he objects to the judge. Okay. All right. Good job there. Uh, so this is my favorite part is when the lawyer volunteers to come in and talk to him. Now, um, this lawyer appears to be very good intentioned and I've actually done things similar to to this attorney. Um, but what this lawyer uh, doesn't realize, again, is he's dealing with a sovereign citizen. Like, if you don't know what you're de like, you don't know what you're dealing with, then you don't know how to deal with this person. And the attorney's like, look, you already took the deal. She's just going to have a hearing, thinking that he's just a person who doesn't understand the legal system, which some people come in like that. No, this is a person who wants to fundamentally undermine the legal system. That's what this person is. He doesn't believe in the rule of law, okay? He believes in the YouTube law that he learned. So, um, he tells the attorney, oh, I have no use for you. I'm not seeking legal advice. Yeah, but you need it, sir. You need it, sir. Um, he, uh, he, he, he says something about, I want to pay my fines and live my freedoms when he comes back to the judge. And he keeps throwing out that points of clarification. And all that goes through my mind is, ma'am, are, are, you know, if this was a more serious crime, maybe, um, but hit him with some contempt, you know, or, 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 or at least take him there because the nonsense is going to keep coming if you don't at least put the threat out there. Okay. He's right that, yeah, if you don't, uh, if you don't respond to a ticket you can have a warrant i don't know if they'd issue a warrant for this they'd fine you and then maybe you get a warrant yeah you are under a little bit of duress okay it's called because you broke the law and society needs you to answer for that that's what it is yeah there is a little bit of duress that's called living in a civilization so um the <laughs> This was a this was a good one. It was entertaining. Neither the attorney or the judge knew what they were dealing with here. Um, maybe they'll come and watch the Common Sense Academy and learn learn about the sovereign citizens after uh, their close encounter of the third kind in court. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the lawyer. Check out my other channel. The link is in the description below. Common Sense Academy out. Peace.